Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Mark. I'm a computer science and psychology double major at NYU at the moment. And um, I'm doing a month of life in a bunch of my classes. So I'm taking cognitive neuroscience, writing the essay, computer systems organization, and what this video is about, discrete mathematics this semester. So right now I'm actually um, just kind of prepping for a quiz. We've got factorials and definitions of factorials, and then we have Boolean algebra. So I have class every Tuesday and Thursday from 8.55 to 10.45, a uh, two hour class, math, or for some reason two hour classes. But in reality, it's every Tuesday we have a quiz, about 20 minutes at the beginning of class um, on whatever we covered the week prior. And every Friday, due at 11, we have a homework. This video is gonna be me covering that class throughout the month. Uh, we also have a portfolio or something that we're doing where we write out our own proof or whatever. I don't know fully about that, but hopefully I will at some point. But yeah, I'm gonna go back and read this. Okay, so port first part of the portfolio is done. It was super easy. Um, it just, it took maybe five minutes just to get us used to LaTeX. I have to do the rest of the homework now, which is just Boolean algebra and combinatorics as we worked on, which is factorials and stuff. We're just moving right along. One of the things in college, um, you know, in high school we moved, we did, you know, integrals, chapter 2.4, chapter 2.5, chapter 2.8 and 2.9. You do a chapter, if not multiple chapters, in one lecture. Um, at least that's the type of material you're covering. So that just throws that into perspective. So this is the tech file. This is compiling, there we go. Just have to go ahead and write out the answers. Oh, it should take me probably three or four hours. Uh, I should have started it earlier, but I feel good with material. So yeah, I'll just see how far I get. <laughs> so I just finished up, this is week two, I believe. Uh, I'm gonna lose count real fast somehow. Um, today, so we had our quiz today, it went pretty well, it's pretty easy, sets and lists. So discrete math, it's, you know, I'm kind of, I, every class I'm trying to think of how I can define it better. And it's, it's the very principles of math in a sense. Lists and sets, they're all used in programming. Boolean algebra is pretty much at the heart of programming. <laughs> so it's, it's very cool to see, it's kind of like you, you see what's under the hood for a lot of it. Um, but at the same time, uh, you, it's a great combination of English and math because you have to prove stuff. So it, it's going pretty well. So I haven't recorded parts for these, um, you know, month videos in about a week because I kind of got demotivated a little bit. But now uh, I've realized something watching someone else's video of a devlog, how I want to do this. So um, just benchmarks pretty much. Had a discrete lecture this morning, had CSO, I came back and now I'm doing this. Uh, we got one of our quizzes back. And I just kind of wanted to look at, you know, what's the format of the quiz. Obviously, it would differ for each teacher and stuff. We had a quiz today and I, I totally bombed it. I know why, which is the good thing, and I don't feel bad about it, um, which is both good and bad, but our teacher drops one quiz grade. I think I, I needed that in a sense. That's a whole nother elaboration on me psychoanalyzing myself, so I'm not gonna go into that. I don't know, if you ever bomb a test, learn from it. You know, during that one, I just kind of got that sense of what not knowing like really feels like. Anyway, uh, that sounds a little pompous, but um, so the first, so this is our third quiz, nine out of ten. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> uh, first quiz I got a seven out of ten. Um, next quiz I got an eight out of ten. This one I got nine out of ten, and that's kind of my goal. Um, especially when starting classes, my goal is just do better uh, than last time. You know, that's that's been my goal. The first homework I got a thirty out of forty. Second one I got a thirty-five point five or something like that uh, out of forty. I think. <laughs> so that didn't work out. But uh, anyway, on with this quiz. I apologize for shaky footage and stuff. I might just get B-roll. But um, each one is just like three or four questions. So front and back. This one's three, uh, A, B, C, two, and then the back here. Each week we do a couple of different chapters and then the homework is from the week before. So let's say week one we do addition and subtraction. Week two we do multiplication and division. Sorry, the homework that is due during week two is that Friday at 11 p.m. is of week one. So it would be homework on addition and subtraction. And I'm just saying addition and subtraction, whatever, because I don't know the specific <laughs> units we did. But, and then the quiz, so let's say week two during multiplication division week, on Tuesday we have a 10, 15, uh, 15 20 minute quiz uh, from week one. Uh, and so pretty much last week, uh, we covered uh, set subsets, Proving sets and subsets and all that stuff. So anyway, evaluate each statement is true or false, no justification needed. These ones are great. I remember having trouble in this first one because it took me a second to realize what this was asking me for. Um, and then each question has how many points is that of. Again, each teacher is going to be different, but this is how my teacher does it. You know, question two, write the negation, question one C. So if we look at question one C, there's this thing up here. Um, 
I realized you wouldn't click on this video if you weren't interested in discrete math, technically. But I'm not going to go into the details. Uh, so much of discrete, though, is proof-based. Uh, that's kind of the entire point. So there's always going to be a proof question. So for the quiz we had today, for example, it asked for a combinatorial proof. Uh, and I was like... We have our first midterm in two weeks. Um, so I think I'll end the video around midterms week because that makes sense. But anyway, I've spent enough time on this video, spent enough time talking on this segment. I should go over one of the homeworks in more detail, and I might do that for this week, especially because I have to do so much review and learning on it. Last week was just an existential week. All right, so it is Sunday, March 10th. I have my discrete um, midterm on Tuesday. March 12th. Now the thing with math that's weird, uh, at NYU, I um, think with other schools, most of the classes are an hour and 50 minutes, where most classes are like an hour, maybe 70 minutes. So that, you know, that might throw you off, but it makes sense, I guess, because of like, they really use that time pretty well. Uh, and so the midterm is going to be made for that length of time, which, I don't know, it'll be good. I'm a little nervous. I feel like I know what I need to know, but at the same time, I don't know enough about those things that I need to know, if that makes any sense. Today, I have to do a lot of review on binomial coefficients and combinatorial proofs using binomial coefficients. Because at the moment, that's kind of my weak spot. Sets, I've got pretty down packed. Relations, pretty down packed. Most professors for pretty much any class will, uh, if not all, post practice, exam uh, practice exams online. As you can see here is an example. This is just saying the format's not gonna be the same, pretty much. Um, ours is gonna be about 10 multiple choice, and like five or six uh, open response questions, I believe. But pretty much it covers the same, like it's, you know, the same material. It's pretty straightforward because we've covered like, I think 17 or so chapters. We're a little behind, I believe, but nonetheless, it's straightforward what we need to know. And the good thing about discrete is that it all builds off each other. So proofs, like the more proofs you do, the more it'll help you with everything else. Again, I just gotta catch up on binomial coefficients because I fell behind. Lots of reading the textbook ahead for me today and tomorrow, but I do need to finish up a writing assignment. If you have any questions so far, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. All right, discrete midterm is com uh, officially completed. I walked in thinking I wasn't gonna do well. I did not prepare as well as I could have. I never sat down and did the practice midterm. But yeah, it was it was pretty, it was straightforward. Um, I won't say it was easy. You know, B plus A range is what I'm aiming for. Anyway, um, that is indeed about it for this video. Uh, there wasn't much to go over uh, in terms of beyond homework and stuff. Uh, studying, I just read the discrete textbook. Um, a little bit of it. Binomial coefficients finally clicked. I don't know why that took me so long. The practice midterms were great. I should have sat down and, you know, went through it as if it were an actual midterm. I don't know. It was just, I was at some weird mental space where I was like, oh, I don't know anything. So I went over it with some of the answers, figured out some of the answers. Uh, it was actually tougher than, or one of, the, like, some of the questions. The questions were sort of formed around each topic. So there were A, B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. There definitely were not 10 multiple choice questions. I think it was only eight. Anyway, there were a bunch of multiple choice questions, which I think were the hardest. <laughs> I've ever been good at math multiple choice. Pretty much it was just A, B, C, D, and the answer could have been like one, more than one, none, or all of them, or something like that. I feel pretty good about it though. And then the open response was six of them, and those pretty much corresponded with the chapters. So there was one which was proving uh, sets A being a subset of B, or disproving if it was B wasn't a subset of A, or something like that. There was a combinatorial proof with um, binomial coefficients. I thought that was gonna be the weakest part of the test for me, uh, but it went fine, I think. I just explained how lists were counted. I left about 20 or so minutes early, so it was timed really well. I don't know, I just, I walked in there with very little confidence. So maybe that's why I think I did so well. That's it for this video. Thank you everybody for watching. If you have any questions or, you know, this video was scattered or you feedback, let me know. I'd love to hear all the questions if you're thinking of coming to NYU and this, that's why you're here or you're just, you know, you're looking to do computer science, you're probably gonna be doing discrete mathematics. At MIT, it's called mathematics for computer science. So maybe I can make another part uh, explaining more, focusing on, you know, hey, what's class like? Or what is your study habits like? Something like that, I don't know. Uh, I'd love to do it. But that's it for this video. I'm gonna go wrap up uh, the other ones pretty much, and we're off. Hey everybody, uh, man, it's been a while since I actually recorded a video. It's actually, I haven't gotten these videos like at all. It is uh, April 15th, by the way. And I have my second discrete math midterm tomorrow. Now, pretty much every math class at NYU has two midterms. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, like for psych, I technically have two midterms, but they're two exams. Uh, even my psych professor is like, Mid two midterms makes no sense, which I agree with. But anyway, I'm actually going through the practice exam this time, which I didn't do on the first test, uh, which I might actually go over. I don't actually know if I can share that though, so it's a little sketchy area.
Just kind of going through the questions. So far, so good. One of them I haven't been able to finish. A concept I'm just forgetting. I mean, how it always works is like material is you're never gonna get the material like the exact material from semester one. So, for example, for the first midterm, we talked about the definition of division. After that, we've talked about the pigeonhole principle or induction. Now we're still building off of being able to prove things, but the exam won't be asking us like the last one did to prove, you know, factorial or something like that. So that'll be asking us to prove a function, to prove something using the pigeonhole principle, uh, do an inductive proof or something like that. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just going through that now. Um, just wanted to include this in the video since I've only just added, like, finished cutting the first bit. But yeah, without further blabbering, let's hope this one goes better. <laughs> After I show it, um, this was one of the proofs. I crumpled it up and then threw it in the bin. But, uh, yeah, just showing that two functions are, uh, the composite of two functions is bijective. Uh, lefty for it, right? changed up my desk. I know this is irrelevant. At this point, the math video is kind of a different one, but I used to have my laptop here and then the second one on the side, but now I just plug in my laptop and close it. And this is like much bigger. It just looks cleaner. I like the keyboard. It just feels better. Uh, and when I move into the dorm next semester, it's going to be hype. Anyway, that's about it. <laughs> uh, I'll probably do some more studying tonight and the midterm tomorrow morning. So, so I never recorded a, uh, a post post midterm video. Uh, much easier to edit with this setup. It's still irrelevant. The midterm went much better. Um, it was kind of weird because the concepts we tested on were really straightforward, but then there were like sets of power sets that were like functions and sets made up of components that were a little more complex. So you really had to think a bit more abstract. I have not gotten results back yet, uh, but it was kind of like, I felt better about it, not as confident, but I felt better that I did well overall uh, in the sense that I didn't get about 90% my first exam, about 90% of the things I got wrong were for multiple choice. So I spent a lot more time on that and I finished just about like a minute before the time ran out. So I paced myself pretty well. But yeah, that's about it. I think I'm gonna make another video on what discrete math actually is because that's still a confused topic. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm not taking any math next semester actually, but um, you know, I'm always up to answers. I'm probably gonna end up doing something online, so. Have a good one, and as always, don't forget to stay awesome.